Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. It's Friday. Welcome to it. Great to have you with us. 888-900-3393. Also, at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. We just got a ton of stuff for you today. And only, you know, half the show to do it because we've got more on trivia coming up in an hour. We may uh, have a little time during more on trivia. You never know. Oh, that's true. That is true. <laughs> you at, never know. At, at the pace we get. You never know. Contestants. Yeah. Boy, they come fast and right? furious, So don't we may they? not have time for <laughs> anything in the second hour. <laughs> Uh, today's matchup is Dallas at Minnesota. Yeah. So we'll start in Minneapolis and go from there. Minneapolis, St. Paul, the Twin Cities. And then, of course, it encompasses it's all greater, of Minnesota. It's Minnesota area, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. And, I mean, South Dakota. It is the there. land of yeah. 10,000 lakes. So. That's right. You think there are, are there really 10,000 lakes? There's probably more. Well, with climate them. change, maybe. Oh, they probably dried down up. to about 5,000. Yeah. Too bad. I think about 9,900 of them have dried up completely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dried Quite up more completely. Than I thought. Yeah, it's a lot. It's it's a way lot. Uh, all right. Biden has announced the revamped $1.75 trillion social spending plan. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. He announced it. I, he announced, I thought, that there was a deal to make a deal. Yeah. Right? It, a, it hasn't they, passed yet. They, there's if that's a what you're deal. Saying. Yeah. To make a deal for the framework of the deal, right? Uh, yes, okay. I guess so. But he said, no one got everything they wanted, oh, yeah, okay. including me. <laughs> Narrow margins in Congress require nearly unanimous support from the Democrats for the bill to pass. They include major investments in infrastructure, climate, and child care. The White House has said that the plan has the support of all 50 Democrats in the evenly divided Senate and expressed confidence it'll also pass the House. But it remains to be seen whether Biden has actually achieved the level of cooperation mm. needed mm. to uh, get get it passed. So it's not a done deal yet. It's not a done okay. deal, but I mean, yeah. probably. Yeah, I'm with you. Probably. Mm. Yeah, somebody posted this morning that, that the word bridge or bridges appears exactly one time in the... 2,000 plus pages of this bill. However, tax appears 1,353 times. Oh my god. Fees gosh. is listed 66 times. Equity, 32 times. <sighs> Climate, 111 times. Again, the word bridge, once. But it's supposed to be taking care of our infrastructure. Right. Yeah, That's that right. one bridge. <laughs> There's one bridge? There's got a one huh. bridge. All right. And it probably goes over a lake in Minnesota, which... Uh, Isn't a lake anymore. 14,444 lakes, by the way. Wow. In Minnesota. Why right. do they call it the land of 10,000 lakes? Yeah, it lakes, should be then. the lakes of... Four, right, the land of 14,441 lakes. Because as they're drying 44. up, they're turning into multiple lakes. <laughs> I see. Okay. Climate Thanks. change has dried them up. Got it. Uh, here's some of the wonderful features of this bill. $555 billion aimed at fighting climate change, mainly through tax incentives for renewable and low emission sources of energy. $400 billion for free and universal preschool. For all three and four year olds, a hundred and sixty five billion to lower health care premiums for the nine million Americans covered through the Affordable mm. Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Mm. Mm. And one hundred and fifty billion dollars uh, to build one million affordable housing units. That's awesome. Is that for the illegals that they're letting in? No, the illegal deal is a. That's another. That's a different uh, deal. That's another happy issue, isn't it? Though. Yeah, they want to give four hundred and fifty thousand dollars per person. Okay. In settlements. That can't happen. No, that, it, that cannot they, happen. Draw the line right there. Stop I, it. I'm serious. Me that too. That cannot happen. Me too. But, I mean, there ha- we have to. There has to be uh, an uprising. Yes. If that happens. Yeah. As, as, yes. as John Cardillo said yesterday on uh, Twitter. So they want to give $450,000 to illegals. They want to track $600 in your bank account. Right. <laughs> Correct. Not to mention, uh, the, this is way more than the 9-11 families got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> way more. So are these illegals who broke into our country? The trauma. that They were so traumatized by staying for a few days in a... I don't know, a cell that wasn't uh, 
that that wasn't, wasn't the a plaza. Five star. Right. It wasn't the plaza. Sorry. It wasn't the Mandarin. Uh oh. So uh you we're gonna give you four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So next time you uh do something illegal in our country, you can stay in a in a five star hotel. And um Yeah. Yeah. Buy yourself a house here and uh, on us. On on the taxpayers, I, I, that, uh, that cannot happen. The only way that can maybe happen is My if they were to give me four hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> then I might be for them. I see. No, that's they're not going. I, all the benefits are for illegals. All the benefits. They're the ones you can't separate from their families. Yeah, you know, and put somebody in jail. Uh, American citizens, you've never heard that. No, well, we can't separate him from his family, so we're not going to put him in jail. He's an American citizen. He can't be separated from his family. You've never heard that. No. Those words have never been spoken. <laughs> no. Jeez. Uh so the 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 four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a person in compensation for a total payout that could cost the government more than a billion dollars. Uh probably a lot more than a billion. People familiar with the matter uh told the Wall Street Journal that uh, they're weighing the payments as they work to resolve lawsuits claiming that the government subjected parents and children to lasting psychological tra- psychological <laughs> trauma. How about this? Don't break into our country illegally. Thank you. Get and this won't court. happen. Get out of my court. Yeah, get out of here. Get out and go back to Colombia or Guatemala as a, yeah, as or wherever you fact, came from. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there's a, 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 an officer waiting for you out in the hallway to right. assist your return. To escort you. Uh, back to the border and then uh, put you on a bus and get you back home. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. How many, s- how many times are we going to get slapped in the face like this and yeah. kicked where we live? How the, many times? The nation's over if this happens. It's absolutely. Yes. That's the last straw. It is. It's the last stinking straw if they do this. There is absolutely no way that we should have to pay that to people who yeah. are breaking our laws. It's not even Come on. worth marching to Washington at that point. At no. that point, it's just goodbye. <sighs> We're leaving you. Yes. Seriously, secession should be on the table. I agree. If that happens. Literally, secession should, should be on the table. Yeah, I just, wow. I, I mean, mean, Abbott Abbott was saying he's putting uh, having a barbed wire put up along the, uh, along the border because of the... Uh, the group that's coming. Oh, the good. 3, I didn't see that. Uh, the 4,000 now. Yeah. Cause... Hmm. So we mm-hmm. just continue that and just wrap the state if this happens. <laughs> just wrap yes. it in barbed wire. Yes. Right. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yes. Can we, can we get Oklahoma as well, or you just want just Texas? Oklahoma's pretty I nice. Mean, Mm. Man, you know, once we're once we wrap Texas, they can come and talk. Negotiate to later at the at the at the fence, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, we'll talk to him across the fence, yeah. like on hey. home improvement. <laughs> hey, neighbor, you only see his eyes and his nose. <laughs> we're Oklahoma, let us in. <laughs> Here's how frustrated we are, though. The top three songs in America right now on iTunes are all. Let's go, Brandon Thank songs. That's awesome. The top three. That's awesome. Number one, Let's Go, Brandon, featuring Tyson James and Chandler Crump from Bryce and Gray. Oh, yeah. He was on with Glenn the other day. Number two, <laughs> Let's Go, Brandon, from Loza Alexander. Well, that's the extended version. And number three, Let's Go, Brandon, Loza Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The extended version, I think, is the one that actually has the F Joe Biden mm. refrain in it. When he says, let's go, Brandon, they go, F Joe Biden. Right. Yeah. There's a there's another let's go, Brandon, down at eight. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, then you got uh, Easy on Me from Adele, okay. <laughs> which you've been knocked out of the top three that by all the let's go, Brandon. so funny. Easy on Me by Adele, uh, Fancy Like, Walker Hayes, Shivers, Ed Sheeran, Cold Heart, Elton John, and Dua Lipa. Really? Yeah. Huh. I've never. I don't like to hear that. I I didn't know Elton John had a song. And it was, yeah, when he's going to release a new Christmas song with Sheeran, it was talked about too. Oh wow! Wow, that's big. I know. Uh, then number eight, let's go, Brandon Loza Alexander remix, <laughs> Begin by uh, Mainskin, and Cold Heart by Elton John and Dua Lupa. Wait a minute, that's the P N A U remix. Yeah. So is the one above it. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. It's weird, but that happens with iTunes. You'll see the same song like listed underneath itself, oh. and it's like, well, 
What's what's the deal here? It's yeah, just hold a, on a second. Uh, so we and just this did is the, iTunes, right? I'm, I'm yeah, it's iTunes. So Spotify. we just did the top ten. So missing the cut here on this one, number eleven this past week was "What's That? Who Pays Your Salary?" Because as we know, it's the most downloaded song in the history. <laughs> of that, iTunes. Was that on iTunes it just or keeps, Spotify? No, it just keeps on going. This is iTunes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So That's sorry, tremendous. man. Mm-hmm. You just you finally just for ten out years t- you're out of the top ten. I'm okay with it because all the Lex Gold brandeds right. deserve to be at the top <laughs> of the chart. They deserve to be there. Because uh, we're all so stinking frustrated with what's going on right now. And I like the one White House official earlier in the week when asked about it. We're, we're not familiar with that. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Not familiar with that. All right. We're unfamiliar with that. Okay. Your guy is so hated that they're actually using the F word on a regular basis in public against him. So are you familiar with it now? Mm-hmm. It's F Joe Biden. That's what it means. I love the organic, uh, the organic growth of Let's Go Brandon, though. <laughs> Me too. Uh, that's awesome because you know, I mean, yeah. it all started just from an interview, right? This the the, yeah. the the broadcaster lady is trying not to say F Joe Biden on the air, right? And just you know says, yeah, they're cheering Let's point. Go Brandon. Yeah, that's with you know, no sh- media support, just no a, just recognition growth, or yeah. anything, and for a White House that has alluded to a special part of said White House where they monitor social media Absolutely. and they have their hands at the levers with all their contacts yep. at Facebook and Twitter and so on. They don't still tell me you, couldn't shut it down. You don't know that Let's Go Brandon and is that, a thing. Shut up. That does prove how bad it is. Yeah, I it mean, does. They still couldn't shut that down. Yeah. I mean, here's how bad it is. Uh, look at this grandma who just got a new shirt. Oh, she got a new shirt. Uh, yeah. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a shirt. <laughs> Got a shirt. Let's see what it says. Oh, is this your grandma? Pete? <laughs> this is not my grandma. No, my grandma would not talk like this. Hashtag FJB. <laughs> That's pretty cool, ain't it? Man, I'm telling you, it is. <laughs> Hashtag Joe <laughs> Biden. Do you know what FJB means? <laughs> no. <laughs> Joe Biden. Oh goodness, that's what I say too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh goodness, that's, that's what, what I say too. too. F Joe Biden. I love she was happy with just to get the present. She didn't even know what it meant. That's awesome. I'm sorry. It's not right of me to feel so good about that, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> just love yeah. it. You should love it. Because it's profane. It's profane, oh. Jeffy. We shouldn't love it. But I do. What's profane about let's <laughs> heaven help me, I do. Go Hashtag I, I, FJB. I, I dislike this guy and his uh, no. administration with all the intensity of a trillion white hot burning it gets, suns. It gets worse every day. It's worse every day. It is with him. It is. I mean felt like Joe Biden there. I, it gets worse every day. I thought it was a stinking joke at first, the four hundred and fifty thousand dollars to yeah, the illegal I, I, a- Right, this can't be real. Can't, can't be, be real. Be. And it's real. Mm-hmm. Gotta be kidding me. It's just unbelievable. And it's part of the negotiation. So we're being Overton windowed, right? It's going to be four hundred fifty thousand. They'll say, "Wow, it was going yep. to be that," yep. but we've talked them down to yep. one hundred and fifty thousand. That's still wrong. I yep. still. Oh, if they get a, a penny, penny, one thank penny. you. I'm out. One thank penny. you. Mm-hmm. So wrong. So wrong. Uh, but the good thing is we're breaking down barriers. Um, history's oh. just been made. The first male. Hmm? Has uh, won the homecoming queen Aww, competition. That's at, awesome at Rock Bridge High School in Missouri. Okay, here's the video. The winner. Here we go. That's awesome. The Bruin Bear. The Bruin Bear. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the Bruin Bear. Mm-hmm. Your 2021 homecoming queen is Zachary Wilmore. <laughs> Zachary. Homecoming queen is Zachary who? Wilmore. Wilmore. Zachary Wilmore. Good. Yeah. Congratulations, oh, Zachary. I would have done, done this if I was in high school. <laughs> would you? Heck yeah, man. You were in high school. Why didn't you do it? It would have been fun. Why didn't you do it? You were in high school. Why didn't you do it, point. dude? I didn't think of it. You didn't think of it? I mean, you is it a? I mean, is this for real? Is it a joke? I think is it's it, real, Is he man. like just a popular That's guy saying, who right. said, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become the homecoming queen. That'll be funny because of and everything the, going and on And the school right said, yeah, and let's do it. the school said, yeah. And the they, team was like, yeah, go ahead, let's do it. That's what I mean. It would have been or, fun. Or you know is he seriously a guy who dresses up as a girl and okay. identifies that You way? know what you have to do? You have to go and see his reaction. And let me see how he reacts, and I can tell you if it was a joke or if he is really a queen. So that's, <laughs> hold on. Okay, that's for real. He's into it. Jumped up and down, did his little hands off to the <laughs> side, like he was treading water. Oh! Yeah, he likes this. No, oh, I know he likes Excuse it, but you'd like ma'am. it either way. It is ma'am. Right. Yeah, you'd like it either way. Yeah. 
No. But your his reaction is, you know. Yeah. What? That of maybe somebody who identifies as female. I don't know. Well, I don't know that I don't he, know. he was just, identifies as female. He was just happy. I just know that he was into it. Mm-hmm. He was just happy. Quite so. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> well, congratulations really? to Zachary, though. I mean, that's... So, uh, it, you know, for a while it was looking like men were irrelevant. They could do everything everything in society without us, and we were being eliminated in every single way. Now that's happening to women. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't even need to enter these beauty pageants or these homecoming queen pageants or whatever it is. Any competition, yeah, we don't need real I mean, girls in there. We don't need you. Men have turned it around on them, right? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that it was men, though, It because it wasn't. Uh, someone else has turned it around on them. Just unbelievable. I mean, it's a small, small, small percentage of our society, but they have completely oh. flipped our, our country on its head. They sure have. It's just been turned around completely now. I, uh, it's incredible. It's fun. Just the sheer speed with which our society has collapsed. Crumbled. <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Yep. Yeah. Hey, if you snack throughout the day, but you'd rather not pack on the pounds while you're doing it. Yeah. This is a really good solution. (laughs) Talking to you. Talking to me. Talking to you. Uh, It's Built Bar. Built Bars get you through the day. Quench that uh, sweet tooth and the hunger pangs. Get you through the day. And on 180 calories or less. And they have 18 grams of protein. Just four or five grams of sugar and four to five net carbs. So these things are actually good for you. And if you can't decide on which you like the best, coconut, mint brownie, double chocolate, salted caramel, cookies and cream, Rocky Road, so many to choose from, just get a a mixed box and you'll get two of each of the uh, nine regular flavors. Just awesome. Built.com, go there, use the promo code PAT15 and you'll save 15% off your first order. Promo code PAT15 for 15% off at Built.com. You're listening to Pat Gray Unleashed. Oh, and this is convenient, too. The State Department has issued the first U.S. passport with an X gender marker as it seeks to implement gender-inclusive policies. Yeah, they announced that a while ago. That was just it's finally implemented. Yeah. Uh, the department announced in June. That's when it happened. A while ago, like I said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you said, but now they're ago. now they're true. available, so it it's right. newsworthy again. We're not mm-hmm. the first country. Thank you for the clarification. We're not. Who else no, has done this? I think uh, there's uh, half a dozen other countries. I think that's that you're able to do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we joined Canada, of course, Australia, <laughs> naturally, yeah. New Zealand, New Zealand, yes, and other countries with similar gender inclusive <laughs> passport policies. Good. <laughs> Right. Good. Thank time. you. Let's confuse the biological situation as much as we possibly can. Can we do that? Let's ignore science and reality as much as we possibly well, can. The, the we problem are. is that the X is going to just assume that, that that's good enough. That, oh, an X? Well, what if I mm-hmm. want to be very specific? Right. What if I want G on there? The XI thing. Right. What if I want that? You better put it on there. You better put it on. I'm going to be really <laughs> pissed off. Well, there's an individual who goes by the name of Cody, mm-hmm. who who probably has multiple words that this individual would like on their passport. And uh, would you really? like to meet Cody? Because oh, you figure I'd out love what to meet what are we going to put on Cody's passport? It ain't going to be just an X. I'll tell you that. Okay. What's this guy? I'm Cody. Pronouns E M R R S or Z M Z R Z R S or really any neo pronouns that aren't what? Z her. Wait, stop for a second. I am a- <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Now, stop, there, stop, now if you go to blazetv.com/pat, you'll see all of these words that Cody is telling us. I was not prepared for Cody's <laughs> ramblings here. This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cody's just getting started. Zizer, Jim, Jim, Gang, Jam, Jam. Yeah, you Wait, got it. What? No, you had it. You, okay, I got it. And nailed it. Those are his pronouns. Close, yeah. Okay. Pretty close. <laughs> nice pronouns, Cody. Okay, let's see it again from the top. I'm mm. Cody. Pronouns E M R R S or Z M Z R Z R S or really any neo pronouns. That neo pronouns. Any. W- p- pause a it for a second. <laughs> <white trans man. laughs> We are learning so much in just a few. Have you ever heard the word? Have you ever heard the word neo pronoun? No, I was just going to bring that up. 
What is a neo pronoun? Well, Cody's a neo you know. or any so other it's a neo, neo pronoun. pronoun, which shows you that it's made up because that's new, right? Is neo not new? Yes, it is. So, so unless they've changed that so definition. So Cody's well. just making crap up on the fly. Jizur Jim Jaiju. What? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I guarantee <laughs> or you. Or any other neo They are not pronoun? ready for that at the uh, passport <laughs> no, no, office. The passport office is not going to allow that. You get to put X and that's it, baby. All right. Sorry, one more time Cody. from the top. Let's listen to Cody. See if we can get through it. I'm Cody. Pronouns E, M, R, R, Z, Z, M, Z, 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 or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z, her, hers. Okay. I am a white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily, mostly able-bodied, Neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, Unitarian Universalist, non monogamous, demi low romantic, gray demi bisexual, survivor of acute and complex trauma, millennial, and cat parent in mental health recovery. <laughs> that is awesome. Cat parent in mental health recovery. Yeah. Uh, that's that right. for sure. <laughs> Seriously. Oh wow. my gosh. Cody, you're weird. Your nanny's weird. <sighs> oh my. Hey, why don't you just eat a Twix bar, pal? Yeah. All right. Your little weirdness. I'm sorry. It's just sad. That's just sad. At the end, yes. That's just sad. Yeah. I hope Cody was playing around. I don't think Cody is no, playing around. No, I don't think so. I think Cody's... That's too bad. I think Cody's had some issues, and, and uh, it's affected Cody. So that's just really unbelievable. And I think we're supposed to celebrate it, right? Now we're supposed to celebrate that. Like, oh, that's, yeah. That's a great thing. What Cody just did was fantastic. Mm, we're just supposed to... That's completely normal. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know okay. that it's completely normal. Oh, I the it is if now, you were right? to tell <laughs> the non-binary people that that's not normal, mm-hmm. I think you'd be drummed out of society. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to hear that that's oh, no, mental illness anymore. Society, no, you don't. So. No, you don't, my friend. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you at least have a podcast still. Uh, you don't. You don't want that taken away from you, do you? You want that taken away? No. No, you don't. Okay, then mind your manners. No. And say that that's completely normal. I don't know. Please <laughs> listen to Chewing the Fat podcast, and that's completely normal. There Cody. you go. I think Nicely I'm ready done. to be drummed out of this society. <laughs> I know. It seems Quite like honestly. it. honestly. Oh, my gosh. That's um, this society unbelievable. Is not pleasant. And how old is Cody? Maybe? 15, maybe? Yeah, 16? Yeah. It's certainly a teenager, yeah. right? Just sad. That's just sad. <sighs> As we continue to watch humanity, <laughs> exactly, die. exactly right. Yep, perfect segue. Pat had Jeffy uh, Starfish. Jeffy Ooh. Starfish sent this to us. <laughs> sent this video to us uh, from Uh-oh. Jeffy Starfish. Oh, I don't know that that's the lead-in they were expecting. Video, video number the, five. It's the girl playing the guitar in Japan. Watch what happens. Here. Oh, okay, cool. She's singing on the street. And wait, why are you stopping? Don't look. I thank you for your wonderful life. Look at these beautiful lyrics. Hold on, here comes a cop. He's got to say something to you. It's very important. Hey, I need you to put a mask on, okay? I know you're standing out here, and there's nobody around for 50 yards, but could you put on your mask if you're going to sing publicly? And we're outside where it's been proven that you don't get COVID-19. Not in Japan. Real. Not in Japan, my friend. Humanity's over. I don't believe that. So they're getting it outdoors? Uh, Everywhere. Yeah, okay. They're getting it. Everywhere I see. in Japan. They're getting infected outdoors, socially distanced mm. like that. Why? Why Singing, in Japan? spewing her disease on everyone. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sad. Okay. Well. I mean, we see that in, we've, we've seen that in Australia, right? We've seen mm-hmm. that in, uh, we've seen it less and less now because it is, you know, opening up more and more. And there's plenty of countries in Europe now that are saying, screw you. Good. Uh, it's over, and and we've de- pretty much said mm-hmm. that here in the United States too. Yep. I mean, we can't even. We, our, <laughs> our president certainly has. I mean, he mm-hmm. carries one around mm-hmm. still, but every time I see him wandering through a crowd, he's not wearing a freaking mask. Mm-hmm. Well, he's vaccinated. Oh, see. and so if Is you're he vaccinated on all his vaccinations, I I don't know. Oh, I by don't the know way, if he's had his fourth shot yet. I'm not sure. Exactly, the CDC saying, hey. Get your fourth shot yeah. if you're uh, immunocompromised. Mm-hmm. Time to get your fourth shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Well, if it's been six months since your third. Right. Right? Yeah. Isn't that it? Yeah, it's still a six-month window, I think. Uh, that's Maybe not, four. That can't be very many people because this just started well, in January. Saying, they were saying, what, at least 18 <clears throat> or 20 million have gotten the third, right? Third or fourth? Okay. I feel like that yeah, was a right. number. Yeah, you're right. It's six months, Pat. 
Yeah. yeah, that's still a six month window. Yeah, so you got You have to have both your vaccinations. So that was a month apart. The earliest you could go, could have gotten it early January, right? Mm-hmm. So then you can get your second one. Let's say late January, early February. So then six months from that point, you can get your third shot, and then six months from that point, you can get your fourth. No, that that should make us into <clears throat> early 2022. Yeah, right? but they were they moved it up. They oh, moved that, they? that first okay. six, the third shot window. Mm-hmm. Was, the third shot, they, they it doesn't have to be up. six months. Yeah. And they should move it up because YouTube, mm-hmm. the, the vaccine is so effective. Yeah, it's so yeah. safe and effective right. that we only need four shots now. Mm-hmm. That's how safe and effective this thing is. If, We're going to do five or six or seven or yeah. 12 or 40 shots. Because you want to make it even that much more. More safe and yes. more effective. In fact, in fact uh, yeah. the, the blaze.com, I don't know if you've heard of them. They did a story yesterday where 99.7% of adults in this particular Irish county called Waterford. Who were uh, vaccinated. Right, right. So 99.7% of the population uh-huh. uh, is, is vaccinated. Uh, but what now? What's going on? But there? the other thing was that they had the highest rate of infection, huh? In Ireland, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's in Ireland. accurate. So the well, highest rate ninety nine percent. Well, of you them. know what it How is. How many Pat? unvaccinated people came through that stupid county? Uh huh. Point three percent of the county Poisoning isn't them. vaccinated. That that's who did all the spreading. Uh, thank you. Point three percent of the population have been running around infecting yeah. everyone. Yeah, and they weren't protecting the protected. And that pisses me off when you don't protect the protected. And Thank I don't you. think we need to edit this out for YouTube because we're trying to say that obviously it's safe and effective. Yes, it's safe and effective. Super. Get effective. the shot. Yeah, get the shot. Get the sh- get the shot now. I'm not even. Not I don't. And I don't care if your dog doesn't like the fact that you're getting shots and you're masking up and you're trying to social distance from even the dog. Uh, mm. They don't. They don't apparently like. <laughs> Like babies, dogs don't really like the mask thing. Uh-huh. I know that every time I have my mask on around my granddaughter, she pulls it, she rips it right off, takes it right off. Have you got that kid checked? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, because uh, I think it's so, pretty normal. So babies and dogs are smarter than the rest mm-hmm. of society. Here's a dog showing you that. Nah, I don't appreciate your mask. Walter, what is your opinion about the current state of the pandemic? <laughs> oh, see that. <laughs> okay, thank you. She did that on purpose. <laughs> She did that yeah, on she knew. She, that on she knew the dog was going to do it, and I think she probably gave her a doggy treat for yes. doing it. But I, I still like it. That's a, that's a that's lot fun. of words for that command. Yeah. What do you think about the current state of the pandemic? And that's the dog's cue to pull yes. the mask yes. down. Yes. Oh, yes. good one there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the dog does it with his teeth. That's pretty. Mm. Uh, that's a pretty gentle dog right there. That successfully, without hurting her, bit the mask off her face. Interesting. That's good. Mm. That's good. All right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. In fact, the shots are so safe and so, so safe, effective, so effective that today I'm going directly to Chuck E. Cheese after the show, and I'm going to get my vaccine. Are you able to get that at Chuck E. Cheese? No. Oh, you can. It's yes, wherever you can get your your important medical treatment. Okay, you know whether it's Sam's Club or whether it's it's the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese though, uh, Kroger, because that's kind of gross. Or Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not sure where it's where they're set up. If they're set up over by where they're making the pizza, or if they're by the ball pit, I, I don't know. But I'm going to find out today <laughs> when I get, when I get my shot at Chuck. Is e. it Cheese. a different stamp you get when you go in? Yes, yes, you get the green stamp, which shows that that's all access, as long as you have your mask on. We don't of, let you leave until you prove you've been vaccinated here. And I'm letting them go. <laughs> Put your hand under the black light. Oh. Such a weird world, isn't it? That is. <laughs> Because it's not far from getting vaccinated at Chuck E. Cheese. We're not that far. Sam's Club, Chuck E. Cheese, mm. whatever. I mean, you same diff. Who knows? You may be just uh, giving the okay and the consent to getting your kids vaccinated uh, when you take them to Chuck E. Cheese. Because there was one school where they were giving out vaccines, and one kid whose parents did not want him to get the shot. Ah, they gave it to him anyway. Whatever. Pants oh, that was an bit. oversight from the school. Oh, was it? That's probably what it was. It's they're probably oops, our bad. Oops. Sorry. Oops, we all in- vaccines. <laughs> Wait. Instead of oops, all berries. That'll be today's title. Oops, all vaccines. <laughs> darn it. Oh, we darn. messed up again, didn't we? <laughs> oh, well. Welcome. Now, this is interesting. They're dragging out Barack Obama for this climate summit. They're- That's embarrassing barack obama is going to the climate summit in glasgow uh why to cover, to cover for joe yes robinette 
Unbelievable. I, who is a brain dead vegetable. <laughs> and so they think, well, what can we do with this? Uh, oh, you know what we should do is have Barack go. Let's have yes. him go too. And then he can cover. Everybody and will pay attention to, defer to Barack. Obama. And uh, and that'll get us through. Joke of medicate and doze off at the yep, meetings. Right. That's it's exactly what's going oh on. I mean, it is exactly Barack what's Obama's happening. third term. Ta-da! Pretty much. President, my boss. <laughs> still, he's still president, your boss, too. President. Oh, my gosh. President. My boss. The guy who was in office. When I was the other person in the office. The other person? Place, the lesser of the, the bigger office. When you were vice president? <laughs> Thank you, yes. That's right. You know the thing. Yeah. Look, look, I've said too much. Yeah. I just need some pudding now. <laughs> I mean, he, yesterday when he w- came out and talked about the deal to make a deal for yeah. the framework of the deal. Yeah. Uh, he just, and then he walked away. Yeah. Like, no questions, nothing. I mean, it's, yeah. The guy they've, is gone. They've really man. pounded that into his head. No questions, Mr. Yep. President. Absol- take Say absolutely it, no questions. When you're done, you walk away. But when yeah. you're done, Walk, Walk away. away. <laughs> and he yeah. does now. He, he sure does. does. Aren't you gentlemen time. excited, though, about what they're going to accomplish over there at the UN? That's going to be fun, right? They're going to they're gonna. Oh, a dinosaur. Their- uh, isn't a dinosaur visiting with them? <laughs> well, this was at the, the United Nations. At the, right? United, yeah, at the yeah, UN. It wasn't, at the, it wasn't right. in Glasgow. Yes. I think he was a big send-off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, to, to Glasgow. Wow, look at this. Here we go. <clears throat> uh-huh. Listen up, people. You're headed for a climate disaster. Climate disaster. And yet every year, governments spend hundreds of billions of public funds on fossil fuel subsidies. Uh Imagine if we had spent hundreds of billions per year subsidizing giant meteors. That's what you're doing right now. Uh Around the world, people are living in poverty. Uh Don't you think helping them would make more sense than, I don't know, paying for the demise of your entire species? You've got a huge opportunity right now. As you rebuild your economies and bounce back from this pandemic, I can't take it. Uh-huh. So here's my wild idea. Okay, here we go. Don't choose extinction. <laughs> Save your species before it's too late. <laughs> it's time for you humans to stop making excuses yeah. and start making changes. Yeah. Thank you. You're my welcome. Gosh. Please don't eat me. Uh, it's now or never, people. It is. Don't choose extinction.com. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, jeez. I. You know, if we hadn't, if we didn't use fossil fuels, where would, where would people in the world be? They'd be under the ground, six feet. They'd be dead. Billions of people would be dead without fossil fuels. They would be uh, freezing to death. They would be overheating in their homes when the heat waves Starving. They'd be starving to death. Yes. Yes. There would be mass starvation, and uh, when the winter comes, there'd be mass death. Uh, fossil fuels have saved billions of for lives. the growth of this world. Yes. Which, yes. you know, obviously is a bad My thing. Gosh, that is, un- that is unfreaking believable. That is just unbelievable. So wait I thought for a second that was Mark Zuckerberg, though. Did, yeah. you, did you see his thing yesterday, the Facebook thing? with uh, what, I saw part of it. Changing the name? It's quite embarrassing. Uh, pretty interesting, So actually. they did change the name, though. They said, well, yes, next it's, week it's, we're going to change the name, and they did to Meta. To Meta. Yeah, but I mean, there's still, there's still obviously Facebook and Instagram and everything. It's just there. That's, the, that's like the um, Google yes, with alphabet, alphabet thing, yeah. which is stupid, because yeah. nobody calls it Alphabet. It's still Google. Oh, well, our parent company is yeah. Alphabet, is it? It's a good way All to right, distance whatever. for lawsuits. Yeah, I suppose. But uh, Meta is what they're going to be, and uh, uh, you know, as his long as we're going with the with his the, metaverse is. I mean, it looked he's not there yet with what he uh, <laughs> you know had what he showed yesterday. Well, let's, see what they, let's see what the they have in store. Be. Yeah, check it out. Check, here's what he had yesterday. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like. Ooh, okay, starting with let's the most do. important experience of all: <laughs> connecting with people. See, Pause that, it for a second. His, this was the kid you mocked and ridiculed in high school, yeah. and he got bullied the whole time. Well, that's he's his such virtual a self. Geek, such a goofy geek, and uh, <laughs> nobody liked him. Uh, and still true today. It's still true today. <laughs> nobody likes Mark Zuckerberg. 
Not even the the libs like Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, he's pretty well universally despised, I think. And he's not going anywhere. And friend. look how awkward he is. Mm, this is not... just an awkward, weird video. Well, this is his his uh, his metaverse character. No, it's, right? well, it's not yet, it's, but it's going to be. No, it is him. Play it for the beginning. This is Mark Zuckerberg. What are you I talking know, I, about? I know that, but this is his. Let me see. So let's start by exploring. This is not his virtual self. This is him. Experiences could feel like it's about to morph into it. The most important experience of all: connecting Connecting with with people. people, Says the robot. Yeah. (laughs) Now it's his virtual self. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset, and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. How can you even tell? And it has an incredibly inspiring (laughs) view of whatever you find most beautiful. (laughs) Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just got to find something to wear. (laughs) (laughs) He he jokes about himself. Embarrassing. Uh, All right, perfect. perfect. Yeah, because it's the same thing he's wearing. Get it? See? See what he did? Hey, what's going on? Oh, hey, Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? (laughs) That would be really cool, though. (laughs) That is so stupid, though. Hey, we're floating in space right now? I don't know. He's not the right person to present this. I think that's my problem with it. He should have gotten somebody who is, I don't know, better. (laughs) Not a robot? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Somebody who can actually connect with people, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, How How can you tell the difference between the virtual... You can't. You can't. (laughs) That's why... fake person. Yes, that's the argument Jeffy and I are having. Uh, I see. You You guys are really still up on this. Are we still having it? Because I'll I'll keep going. Like, while this clip was playing, y'all, they were throwing things at each other, okay? That's where we're at right now. (laughs) (laughs) But the whole idea is really cool. The whole metaverse is is really cool, and yeah, that's I guess. and we're you know <sighs> that's where we're headed. It's, waste of time. No thank you. It's, in, in ten Stupid. years, it's not going to be a waste of time, man. Because he's already <sighs> set up the he, they changed the name to Oculus. Now I forget what they're calling it. They're calling it something else. But they have the Horizon rooms that they've already set up a couple months ago, mm-hmm. and so you're going to be able to go in and you know decorate mm-hmm. your room however you want, where you have your virtual meetings, and you know once you have your your own uh, mm-hmm. you know your own metaverse person it can be anything you want yeah then, well this is his big deal now be- yeah because he's he's tired of being known for being the guy who stole the format from the <laughs> winkle dinkle twins winkle dinkles and uh i think he wants <laughs> he wants something more now absolutely he does yeah he's like okay this absolutely facebook thing this social media thing was good you know when I took it from the Winkle Dinkles, it was fine. But now right. I'm a little bored with it. I know. It's only worth it's I only make what? 80 to 100 billion a year. Yeah. Something it's not like enough. That. It's, it's not enough. It's just we're not doing enough for the planet. Right. Really. So, uh he he wants, you know, he saw player he saw Ready Player 1 and he's yeah. like, mm, "Yeah, that's what I want. Absolutely. I want to be that guy who made Ready Player 1 universe." And there's plenty of, you know, I mean, we've seen <clears throat> plenty of movies out there that or would be just as well that Mark wants to be a part of now, you know. So I, it's going to be really cool when it happens. I, you know, will, probably, yeah. you know, there's plenty of people that oh, I can't imagine doing that. That's just stupid. I want to be with real people. Well, you know, mm-hmm. okay, no mm-hmm. problem, Grandpa. Well, this is so you don't have to ever do that. This is so right. you, when you're and aw- you can do when, both. When you're as awkward as Mark Zuckerberg, you can never have you never have to be with real people and, again. And you can do both, right? His, that's his point. Is you yeah. can, with the way office work is supposed to be now after the pandemic, you'll be able to do both. You so, do you think this will take out. off? Oh yes. So, so will we look at this video and how rudimentary it seems? The way we look at that little Today Show segment where yes. Bryant Gumbel and Katie Couric are like, "What Looking is internet? internet?" Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I think so, too. Well, let's yeah. I think so sit too. back and watch, huh? Uh, hey, Dr. Anthony Fauci has spent more than $61 million funding research with aborted baby parts. Oh, boy. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases funneled massive amounts of taxpayer funding to unethical experience, uh, experiments, including one that involved implanting aborted baby s- scalps onto mice That's at so the bad. University of Pittsburgh. Terrible. I mean, what what are we going to find out next with this guy? Uh, 
It's unbelievable. But if you'd like to do something about this, if you'd like to take part in the saving of babies' lives instead of the taking of them, there is something you can do. Uh, we have partnered with Preborn now. Um, Preborn is the direct competition to Planned Parenthood. They're the largest provider of free ultrasounds in the United States. And they've partnered uh, with us to try to save 10,000 babies by the end of the year. Now, when an expectant mother who's considering an abortion sees the ultrasound, it changes everything 80% of the time. They, 80% of the time, they choose life. I'm surprised it's that low, but it's. I'm happy that it's 80%. When Texas had it, it was over 90%. Yeah. But it's still huge, and it still makes a really big difference. So if you'd like to participate in helping to save babies instead of take their lives, $28 sponsors an ultrasound to help save a baby's life. $28. Maybe you can't afford $28. Maybe you can give five. That would be helpful. A $140 sponsorship, if you can afford it, gives five babies a chance at life. And right now, all these gifts are tax deductible. Please help. Help rescue 10,000 babies' lives. To donate, dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. Pound 250, baby, or go to preborn.com slash pound. Pat Gray returns. It's true. I do. And, and I did. And I am. Ta-da. Here I am. Travis Dockery tweets, uh, it's becoming more and more clear the most impactful death from COVID was logic. Mm-hmm. Oh. From Sully, I used to wonder what Noah felt like, knowing demise was coming and most around him were <laughs> oblivious. No, I don't have to wonder anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy introvert, I get the feeling that we need to stop saying, how can this administration get any worse? Each time that phrase is uttered, someone in the worse. Biden burden administration says, <laughs> here, hold my soy latte. <laughs> <laughs> and then they show us how it can get worse. That's re- That really is happening. Jeez. Um, all right. Apparently, they've asked uh, Sam. I don't know who Sam is. <laughs> it's like an advice column or something. You're like a... He's the like, Friday morning edition yeah. NHPR's Sam Evans Brown. Yeah, you know oh, this I love guy. Sam. Sure. Sam Evans Brown? He's the Sam one that, Evans he's Brown. He's the one that pushed out Ann Landers, the bastards. <laughs> yeah. And, but all he takes is like environmental questions and stuff. And this, the environmental question he took uh, this particular time was, do trees like to be hugged? Oh, maybe they'll discuss this in Glasgow. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Do wait. trees like to be hugged? Jeffy? Absolutely. Okay. He says, an anonymous listener in Vermont asks, I walk uh, every day and there are lots of trees in Vermont and I'm a tree hugger. And I mean literally a tree hugger. <laughs> and so I hug them and I always feel a sense of calm. And I'm wondering oh. if there's anything that makes that happen. Do the trees notice when I hug them? The answer is, <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Is that why you're shr- shrugging? It's because yeah. you know that the answer is yes? Yeah. Do you, do you not okay. love love, mm-hmm. Pat? <laughs> tree love? Are you Are you going to go on record today saying that you've never hugged a tree? Yes, I am. I have never hugged a tree. Mm. Not ever. You, you want us to believe that? <laughs> I, wait, ask I don't me. I really care if you Because it's it the not. same answer as Pat's, man. <laughs> not a never, chance. Never hugged a tree. Never no. hugged a tree. Shut up, no. Jeffy. Wow. Now, he doesn't know for sure if that tree knows you're hugging it. The careful way of putting this is that it's a very reasonable hypothesis that someone could test. We also could answer the question, so for sure, you like hugging trees, but do the trees like being hugged? Mm -hmm. And his point is, well, plants seem to like to be sung to. And talked to, yeah, but so yeah, I'm sure the they, trees like, like being yeah. There was yeah, there's some studies that they react when when they're under attack, right, with from right? insects yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and so they obviously are sensitive uh, to what's going on around yeah. them. I mean, we could have a tree two movement a if who? you're hugging it without asking for permission. Tree two, tree two, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag tree two. Uh, that could be an issue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It sure could. <laughs> how, how, do, how does the tree respond? Like, you ask it, hey, may I hug you? What are you waiting to hear? 
Well, you'd, you'd just sense it. You'd sense yes. You would sense it. Yeah, you'd sense but it. But oh, okay. the tree hasn't given its consent. <laughs> it hasn't said, <laughs> hug me. What if there's a hole in the sky where the tree once oh, was? No, oh, no. There's a oh, hole no. in the sky where the tree once was. Somebody's, Somebody's making, making money. money. How long is this Doritos commercial? Do we have time one to minute. play One minute. Oh, you're going to love this All one. Right, let's play it. All right, Doritos. Doritos. Another great Another woke, woke commercial. commercial. It's in Spanish, but I think you'll figure out what's going on here. Oh, good. Oh, it's like the Coco uh, movie. Oh, it is, cartoon yeah. Cartoon type uh, drawings From here. Disney. Cartoon? Watch this. Well, animation, whatever. <laughs> oh, Jeff. <laughs> Oh, I was so thinking the same thing. They're, they're visiting the, the grave of the dead granddad, see? Right. Right. And then a puff of smoke, and there, oh. there's Grandpa right there. <gasps> hey, his family, how you doing? What's going on? So, I speak fluent <laughs> Thank Spanish. You. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait, I'm sorry. Who's this Hold guy? it. He's bad. Oh, this is my significant other. Uh -oh. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh yeah, they're holding hands. Oh no. So in the afterlife, he found a new partner. <laughs> and grandma's cool. And grandma's with cool with it. Yeah, she's fine. Well, she she's not jealous she, or anything. She always knew anyway. <laughs> Doritos Yay, Mexico. Hey, Doritos is woke. So ghosts can be gay in the afterlife. That's great. Yeah, yeah. And okay. eat Doritos. This is just like the Twix thing. What's the? I don't. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Wait a minute, what do you got there? Which reminds me. Uh, like the <laughs> here's a uh, here's something that uh, one of our producers was it Rob? Yeah, Corby it was brought Corby. this in. Oh, Corby, yeah, Corby brought it in. Uh, Kellogg's together with pride. Oh, nice. In the oh. rainbow colors. It's a That's cereal special. for kids, and you can celebrate. Oh. How'd you say that taste of Corby? It's a little fruity. It's great. It's a little fruity. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Pat Gray Unleashed. Upon the frozen tundra of the human mind, two teams go head to head. How many weeks are in a typical year? 60. 60. 60, 60 yeah. weeks is really close. In a brutal battle between brainless boobs. What is SPF supposed to protect you from? COVID-19. COVID-19. Hey, thank you. And senseless buffoonery. What direction does the sun rise? In the west. In the west. Oh. Dullards versus dummies. Name one landlocked state. California. Oh, California. Man, that's a good guess. Dopes versus dodos. A menorah is usually associated with what religion? Voodooism. Voodooism? Voodooism. Yeah. Pretty close. Moron versus moron. If you're in a selfie, who most likely took the picture? The person in the middle. The person in the middle. In a monumental matchup of minuscule minds. Who is the speaker of the house? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it depends on whose house you're talking about. Usually it's the wife. Oh. This, this is Moron Trivia. Good morning, American. It's Friday. Great to have you with us on this Friday. This Moron Trivia Friday, whose matchup today, uh, Dallas at Minnesota, and here's our commissioner, Jeff Fisher, to tell us how more on trivia works. Well, we predict the outcome of a chosen NFL game by calling convenience stores and uh, other places in uh, the chosen cities or areas. We ask them questions. The cities that answers the most questions correctly wins the game. And uh, it's treated just like a football game. Four quarters, four questions a quarter. Each city gets the same questions each quarter. City that answers the most questions correctly wins mm -hmm. the game. And there's, you know, some rules like if somebody agrees, they have to agree though to play the the quarter. Uh, and if they agree to it, the, to answering the four questions, and then somewhere along the line, hang up, they forfeit. That yeah, quarter. before the questions, they get a are zero done. for yeah. the quarter. So, uh, so we're going to start in Minneapolis <clears throat> today. We are. Okay. Yes. Greater. The greater Minneapolis, St. Paul, South Dakota, the Twin Cities North area Dakota. includes all of Minnesota, of course. And, Montana. I mean, they are the Minnesota Vikings, mm -hmm. right? Right. Well, and the Vikings, yeah. you know, came over from Norway yeah, and stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> you could call somebody in Oslo, obviously. Good. <laughs> so really anywhere. Oslo, yeah, Minnesota. Really in the world. Yeah. Uh, all right.
888 900 as we wait for our first contestant. Speaking of football, this is uh, on a different level, though. Iowa State's coach has apparently invented a new word. Oh. Yeah, during his appearance with the press. Uh, see if you can catch what word he invented here. Yeah, man. Like I, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, those things are going to happen. I, I, I don't know if I'm in full agreement. It's not my place to be in agreement. Those guys have a hard job. In agreement. In agreement. I, I, well. I don't know if I'm in full agreement. It's not my place to be in agreement. Is the word you're groping for there maybe agreement? Agreement? We're not in agreement. Uh, not in agreement. Is that actually a word? <laughs> this guy. I feel like it's a word. It is. Agreement? Yeah. Is it? No, oh, I don't think I so. Look. No. No. I don't believe it is. If it is, I don't think I've ever heard the word agreement before. It's quite an awkward word, <laughs> if it is a word. Have you never been in agreement with anyone? No, I've been even in if it's a, Even if it's a word, he didn't use that correctly, correct? Yes. Is it a word? Uh, Are you see. seeing it? Agreeance? Agreeance. Uh, let's see. The sharing of a view or opinion agreement. Yeah, I guess, well. Agreeance is a word? Uh, yeah. wow. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. No way. Is that the actual dictionary? Or are you looking at the uh, like the urban dictionary? Okay, hold on. The so Iowa dictionary. State dictionary. <laughs> Maybe they have their own. The cyclones have their own special well, verbiage. It's at dictionary.com, too. Wow. All right. Well, then we should be yeah, making fun so, of him, I guess. So I guess we learned something. I guess he taught us a it's thing Iowa or two State, here. Though. I don't no? want it to be a word. Oh, well, Pat had perfect fit AR. I was with you. It shouldn't be a word. Right. That's the guy it should it to not us. be a word, and most of us thought it wasn't. Yeah. Correct. Well, excuse us for being educated now. <laughs> I'm not going to run out and start using the word agreeance, though. No, I'm not either. Doesn't it's sound I, very awkward. I word. heard George Bush in my head when when I heard that. Though. I mean, full of agreeance. <laughs> uh, See, now it's not a word. I've been agreeifying with most of the people around here, <laughs> and we're all in agreeance that we should See? agreeify. See? Yeah, yeah. It's a George it Bush is. word. Agreeance. Yes. Uh, definitely a George Bush kind of word. Strategery. Mm. <laughs> he made that one up. Yes, he did. Mm. Yes, he did. All right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. As we wait for our first contestant in uh, in Minnesota somewhere, uh, who did remind me who uh, Missouri plays this weekend? Is uh, it- we take on uh, Vanderbilt, <laughs> uh, the Commodores, <laughs> the, the Commodores. The guys who did Easy and Still yes. and Sail On. Yes. Oh, you've got yeah. this one. You got yeah. that How one. How old are yeah, those guys? You should beat them. You should beat them. <laughs> yeah, they're all on their side. I mean, the Commodores guys, uh... are not really known for their their football skills, are they? <laughs> well, they are now, yeah. No, okay. After, yeah, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nebraska plays Purdue. Ooh, that's, Ooh. A, that's probably a tough one. I don't know. They're coming isn't up, a tough they're, one they're, for the Huskers? Yeah, that's true. They're coming off the big win, though. They might have a big letdown. You guys might be able to take them over. Okay. Uh, take them over? Yeah. Like, beat them? Is that what you mean? Yeah, no, because Purdue, who did they... <laughs> Are we in well, agreement? You might be. Are we in agreement? Yeah, we're in agreement. Who did, who did they beat this agreement. last week, though? They beat someone big You might be able week. to take Purdue? them over. Yeah. I think they beat Iowa, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah. So, there you go. We're screwed. <laughs> we lost to Minnesota. <laughs> and then, then, oh, then, then the bye week put up a fight for us yeah the bye week <laughs> put up a fight for missouri too <laughs> there's no doubt about that yeah we still haven't had byu hasn't even had a bye week yet. really no i mean it's a brutal schedule i'm gonna make a jeffy joke here you think your old guys would need some time off maybe right. rest for a week <laughs> thank you <laughs> pretty beat up yeah there's a lot yeah. of injuries yeah, there's a lot of injuries a lot of injuries yeah, I mean, that spoiled the magical year no, it didn't. It's still a magical year. No, so it's not. It's not a magical year. <laughs> not, you changed your me. tune on the whole thing. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. In fact, oh, at the beginning of the gosh. year, I predicted 10 and 2 was my prediction. Oh, wow. That is still doable. Who else left? Uh, I said I, I would word, love to see 12 and 0. Undefeated and comes to mind. I said I'd word. love it to be undefeated, but. Uh, I 10 don't and 2 think there was is a my actual I would prediction. Roll that this guy's tape a liar. Thank you. I want to 10 and 2 was my prediction. I'll play it for you. Oh, boy. Some disagreements <laughs> going on here. <laughs> this week, anyway, it's a big game. Uh, mm. Virginia comes to Pro. Oh, the former coach, right? Former coach, nice. yeah. Bronco Mendenhall. Yeah, they're also 6-2. and two. Mm. Uh, Everybody I saw yesterday, a bunch of predictions are out now from the national pundits. They're all predicting. Uh, they're all taking Virginia. Yeah. Bastards. 
They're hmm. all taking Virginia. So really, I, that's that's they that's did surprising. that with they did that with Arizona State though too, and Utah and. Just about every other game this year, so I'm hoping they, they're pretty Yeah, wrong that's again. true. BYU yeah. does. So we'll they don't Do you like let BYU. predictions yeah. bother you from from uh, pundits? Uh, I mean, they're amusing to look at, but I don't like say, oh, yeah, sometimes well, we'll it's show little, you. Sometimes it turns into disheartening, mm-hmm. though, because then they just end uh-huh. up bad-mouthing uh-huh. your team at yeah. BYU. That kind of pisses me off, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Uh, I kind of feel like they're going to win this game. I think we go seven to two here. Better. And then if that if that happens, then the only other obstacle in our way is USC at the end of the year. Which last not, game? You're not list USC. No, I USC's hope not. not a, they're not, not a powerhouse. Not this USC. Year. Yeah. Oh, is that is that the school Plus, that uh, just hired uh, Mike Tomlin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mike. No, no, no. I meant was rumored to want to hire you. Please don't uh, hurt me. I want that. To I happen want so that bad. so bad. I do too. After his indignation I over the mere too. suggestion <laughs> i would love for it for it to come out that he took the job i would love that it would almost be worth usc coming out saying yeah we were going to offer it to him but since he treated he's us so like adamant crap, screw him <laughs> yeah yeah since he's so insulted by it yeah, uh, we're gonna give our mind. 11 million dollar salary right. to somebody else thank you <laughs> sorry we'd pay you three million more than you're currently making it the greatest job in pro sports Whatever. I mean, uh, I like Mike Tomlin, but that was a little over the top for him. That was a lot over yeah. the top. Yeah, it just wasn't necessary. It's not. It's not an insult to coach no. at USC. That's not. I'm sorry, no. any of those universities. Right. You're a king, man. Yes. Those are good gigs. Mm-hmm. I mean, you work your butt off. It's a tough job. I'm not taking anything away from the job, but those are good jobs. Other than John Gruden, who is gone now, uh, I think. The highest paid coach in all of sports in this country is uh, Ur- uh, not Urban Meyer, but no. um, What's his face from Nick Alabama. Saban. Yeah. Nick Saban from Alabama, who's making over $9 million a year. And that's nine salary. million. I mean, look, at he's, yeah. he's got sponsorships, right. and I'm sure that he pays for everything. Uh, I'm sure he's at 10 or 11 or 12 million a year, at least, with all the stuff considered. I'm sure the cars in his driveway are all paid for. Yeah. Karin? Okay, we got Karin in Minnesota. Good morning. Hi, Karin. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Are you a Vikings fan? I am. Oh, me too. Yeah, baby. Me too. (laughs) Who's your favorite player on the team? I would have to be Justin Jefferson. Oh, it'd have to be. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we feel the same him? way. You ever met him? Has he been in the store? No. 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 Uh, bastard. <laughs> uh, what, is he too good for it? Is that what, he, is that what it is? Oh, Does he think I he's too it. good for it? We're not. We love those hot dogs that <laughs> are too. on that, that yeah, machine rotating. Yeah, been there for about eight days. Love that. Um, all right, Karin, we're going to ask you a series of four questions, um, if that's all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can't ask anybody for help, and if you don't know the answer, just take a guess, okay? Okay. What is the season autumn is more commonly known as? Season autumn. Fall? Fall is... Hmm? Is uh, correct. Right. Is correct, yes. <laughs> Can't ask anybody for help now, Karen. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'm in my office by myself. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. All right. uh, question number two. What, get mad. what is an herbivore? Mm. A plant eater. Plant mm. eater, that's exactly right. Uh, and question number three. What is a pacifist? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's hard Someone lies? I have no idea. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a person who lives near the Pacific Ocean. Oh, yeah. That pacifist. Makes sense. Yeah. Pacific. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, question number four. What state abbreviation is AK? Alaska. Alaska there you go, is baby. exactly right. <laughs> it, also, interestingly enough, it is also the abbreviation for Mississippi. No, yeah, really nobody knows. Weird. Nobody really, really knows weird. why, but it just is. It's <laughs> that one of those weird no things. no sense at all. I know. Uh, well, Karin, you've been fantastic. So good, in fact. We're going to send you the home version of our game, Psychically. And okay. I just did. All right? All right, perfect. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> she was a little unhappy with the game giveaway. <laughs> Yeah, she, I don't think she. How many? Got how many it. she no, get? I, think, I, think, I think, she think she was thrilled with it. it. No. You didn't sense no, the thrill in her she, voice. I don't think she received. No, it. I think she did. I think she got it and she was thrilled. <laughs> she I, got I, three, I, right? Okay, I have to disagree okay. with you. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so it's three nothing Vikings halfway nah, through the first was, quarter. She was pretty smart. And by the way, guys, uh, I was looking up the salaries here. Nick Saban makes eight point seven million a year. 
um, coaches that make more than him are all in the NFL. Um, you got John Harbaugh makes nine million for the Ravens. Wow. Okay. Um, Sean Payton nine. of the Saints nine point eight million. Nine point eight. Oh, wow. Just buckle up, boy. Buckle up. Wow. Okay. Uh, you know John Gruden was yeah, at ten million. Yeah. Pete yep. Carroll, Seahawks, eleven million. Oh my and gosh. Your leader. I thought Gruden was the highest paid. Huh. He was ten. Your leader in the clubhouse. New yes. England Patriots, Bill Belichick, twelve million a year. And not worth it, obviously, without Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> you said it, man. No quitting. Oh man. Holy cow. Yeah. Bruce Arians now, who is, you know, yeah. the coach uh, at Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. He's uh, eight million. He's underpaid wow. now. Because, I mean, they can't be beat, it seems like, this year. Jeez. Plus, Have they lost a game yet? Yes. Yeah, they lost a couple. Oh, they did? Yeah. Watch, let's see in Green Bay win again last night. Uh, it's going to be. Against the gonna, formerly unbeaten Arizona Cardinals. It's going to be uh, Brady and Rodgers again in the championship, man. So let's get ready to see NFC that. NFC championship be game? Yeah. Hmm. Be fun, if it is. Yeah. I don't know. The, car, the, the Packers have lucked into they just about winning. all of their they wins, keep winning, but they though. keep winning. I know. Yeah, they really do. So, looks pretty good. All right, we're going to it's 3 to nothing Vikings over Cowboys. Cowboys about to get the ball in the first quarter. Let me tell you about Patriot Mobile. Did you find yourself turning on the news and and feeling hopeless? I do. Lately? I do. Mm-hmm. Open borders, spending on crazy, the prospect of more mandates, lockdowns, inflation. It's like the you're list reading goes my on mind. And on. Yeah. <clears throat> There is something you can do. You can buy from companies that believe what you and I believe. We need to stick together now more than ever. And there is, there's been one company willing to stand with you since 2012, and that's Patriot Mobile, America's only Christian conservative wireless provider. They offer broad nationwide coverage. In fact, they use the same towers that all the major carriers use. Patriot Mobile has plans to fit any budget and... Their 100% U.S.-based customer service support team provides exceptional customer support. More importantly, Patriot Mobile shares your values and supports organizations fighting for religious freedom, constitutional rights, sanctity of life, and our veteran and first responder heroes. So go to patriotmobile.com slash pat or call 972-PATRIOT. You'll get free activation with the offer code PAT. They always have special discounts for veterans and first responders and uh, for multi-line, multi-line discounts, uh, accounts as well. You get it. So you get a discount for a multi-line account. Support a company that loves America, loves you, and shares your values. PatriotMobile.com slash pad. PatriotMobile.com slash pad. Or 972-PATRIOT. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Welcome, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. We're in the first quarter. Uh, Vikings lead three to nothing, but the Cowboys have yet to receive the ball. And the ball being, uh, of course, somebody answering the phone at a convenience store, so we can ask them questions. Uh, so we're waiting for that to happen, and hopefully it will. Now, I thought these were going to be good, easy cities: Minneapolis and Dallas. Come on. Come on. Right. I mean, hello. Mm-hmm. We're familiar with the greater DFW area. We are, yes. So there are plenty of places that are plenty. open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, everything's open right now. <laughs> Everything. Absolutely every there's not business. One business. There's not one single business that's not open now. So hopefully we'll get somebody on the phone soon. Yeah, during the break, I just placed a few calls to West Texas and had no luck. So Really? Yeah. Did you? To West Texas? Yeah. Okay. Like, no, wet. Out near El Paso. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not not the town of West. Although, we should be calling the That's town of West DFW, Texas. Yeah. Tell you that. <laughs> mm. um, all right. We got these uh, weird... Let's, pl- let's play this while we wait for somebody for a contestant in Dallas. Uh, we th- these pro Terry McAuliffe oh songstresses. What? Oh. Oh. oh, nice. Saved by the Bell. We got Keisha. Uh, hey, Keisha. Hey. Hey. Uh, are you in the uh, DFW Metroplex right now? Yes. What part of the Metroplex uh, do you currently... Uh, I'm in North Dallas. In yeah. where? Where? West Dallas. West Dallas? Is that what you said? North Dallas. North. Yeah, okay. North. Yeah. Uh, North, North. Uh, us, us too. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, we're going to ask you 
four quick questions, if that's all right. Is that okay? Okay. All right. yeah. Yeah. You can't ask for help, and uh, if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. All right? Okay. Qu- all right. Question number one. Mm. What is the season autumn more commonly known as? Fall. Fall. There you go. Exactly right. Excellent. Question number two. You're almost there. What is an herbivore? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Could you Someone know? afraid of herbs. Somebody who won't eat uh, or any herbs or food weird? with herbs in them because they're deathly afraid of them. Isn't that weird, Keisha? It's weird, right? Yeah. 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 I thought so, too. Cool. Those are weird people, right? True I mean, story. Why are there weird people in this world? It's weird. Mm. Uh, question number three. What is a pacifist? A pacifist. A yeah. pacifist. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. We oh, lost no. We, we were just getting to know. Keisha, wow. what are you doing? Wow. Keisha. And wow. she hung up the phone. And so that Keisha, means. Keisha, that's a forfeit. She was offended oh, by man. the question. She was. What, what is, is a pacifist? pacifist? And of course, it's. Oh, I ain't taking this. It's Click. someone who mongers in peace. That's. <laughs> Sort of, they're a peacemonger. Peacemonger. I thought it was somebody that lived on the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> no, that's, Let's change. That's, that's old the thing. old thing. Oh, that's old okay. Thing. Yeah, okay. it's really old. Are we, in, are we in agreement to that? We are, yes. So it's okay. a three nothing Vikings after <laughs> one. Dang wow, it. that hurt. Wow, that hurt a lot. That hurt. Because I'm rooting for the Cowboys. Because Keisha had yeah, already I, accumulated gonna, one I, point. I'm being impartial during the game here, but in real life, I like the Cowboys to win this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Cowboys, what's her record? Have they lost what two? Are they five and two? I think they're down three. Aren't they? Oh, are well, they? Maybe, maybe only two now. I don't know. I uh, haven't really paid attention place, to the so Cowboys. They're five and one. Five and one. Yeah. They've only lost one game. That's yep. really good. Wow, that's a I'm good year for the thought, Cowboys. Actually. They lost uh, week one. Huh. Who did they play week one? Was that against the Buccaneers? Yeah. It was yeah. The Buccaneers. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was. Wow, I've got I've got a Cowboys fan in my ear. I've never heard Stephen Smith in my ear in my <laughs> dozen years here. And when we're talking Cowboys, now I hear his voice in my head. <laughs> That's awesome. Dak Prescott is having a great year after this injury. <laughs> is he the one that told you they're five and one? Yeah, right, right when I was finding it. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> the Packers lost their first game and have won the next seven. Right. But the Cowboys have only played five since then. They're five and one. They've had their bye week. That hurts. You like to catch that bye week mm. late. In the NFL, you want that bye week late. Is that what you do? Yes. You, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know yes, that, do you? Yes, you do. You want that bye week late. You want that bye week okay. late, man. <laughs> Especially if you're getting ready to go on a on a playoff run. You yeah. want that bye week late, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. you need to rest. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and right okay. now, the NFC runs what? through Green Bay. <laughs> That's right. With last night's win, that, that has established mm-hmm. home field... Advantage at this point, with the pack, with the Packers now well, holding the edge over the are they tied previously with undefeated Tampa, Cardinals? Tampa though, are they? I think yeah. they're tied with Tampa. Yeah, but Tampa, I think, has had their bye week. It's, you get into this weird time of the year where some teams have played this many games, and some teams have mm-hmm. played. Oh no, I'm sorry, Buccaneers six and one. Yeah, so okay, so, so yeah, the so the Packers are seven on, and one by half a game. Yeah, so you got Packers seven and one, then the Cardinals seven and mm-hmm. one. And then Buccaneers six and one Cowboys. Five. All right, let's play this. Uh, these two weirdos with the p- p- pro Terry McAuliffe what song. What is it with liberals and singing? Everything? I don't know, but it's it should stop. It you really will should. vomit before they get to the chorus. I contend. Here we go. Oh, oh I had him cue it up the chorus. There you go. Hey. <laughs> It's not even good. It's, it's really a kazoo bad. solo. I was, just, I was just thinking this is just terrible. <laughs> I'm going to vomit for you. All right, that's uh, I mean, it's really geez. bad. Really bad. Really bad. I mean, how can you put, how do you post that and go, yeah. Uh, people are gonna love that. They know the internet's well, forever, right? Yeah, I mean, mm. apparently not, because that. <laughs> uh, would you ever hire these two for anything? No, not oh, after that. For anything? No. Nope. And 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 they're in luck because the race isn't as close as That's it was when they made that song, as mm-hmm. the latest poll indicates. Now, um, what's his name? Right underneath it there. Check the what's the latest poll number there. What the do we got? Uh, latest poll number: uh, likely voters in Virginia. This is Fox News poll: fifty-three forty-five. Mm. Yunkin. Over McAuliffe. 
And they've he's up by out, eight points in the Fox News poll. They've all the big guns for him, now, too, man. I know. Is I that know. within the margin of voting machine error? Do we know? <laughs> what do we have? Yes. Uh, we have those numbers? Yes, it, it probably is, actually. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not supposed to be, but, but yes, it, it probably yeah. is. Uh, all right, we're at 3 nothing. Vikings over the Cowboys. Hopefully, second quarter coming up. Welcome. Great to have you with us. 888-933-93. Okay, we got Mary in Minnesota. Nice. I'm, you Hi. know what I'm tempted to do Hi, here, Mary. Don't do but it. But I'm not going to do it. Uh, Mary. What? Mary? Yes. Hi. Uh, where in Minnesota are you? She'll hang up. I'm on Zane. I'm on yeah. Zane, yeah, oh, us too. That's, nice. I mean, we're just right down the street there. Is that weird or what? <laughs> That's really weird. That's cool. Uh, I had the striped, uh, the striped shirt this morning. You remember me? No, I uh, don't remember you. Uh, uh, yeah, well. Jeffy's forgettable. Well, he's not. Right. Yeah, he's not that memorable. Um, <laughs> all right, we're, we'd like to ask you four quick questions, if that's okay. Sure. All right, you can't ask for help, and uh, if you don't know the answer, uh, just just take a guess. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Question number one: What is an outhouse? A bathroom outside. Yeah, the bathroom <laughs> outside is exactly right. Um, question number two: Vladimir Putin is the president of what country? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. Shoot. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I... Oh, it's Manawaniarawa. Oh, oh that yeah. That. <laughs> Darn it. Sounded Qu- out. Question number does. three. Uh, how many sides make an isosceles triangle? Seven. Seven? Seven? So yes. close. Oh, man. Can we accept seven? I... I no. Oh, you are a stickler. It's 6.9. <sighs> what? Dang it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So I'm sorry. I wanted to give it to you, Mary. <laughs> but they're oh. they're being. he's really being a stickler today. Oh, my God. I don't I know. I don't, we'll, we'll, you know I what? Know. We'll have a talk with him to figure this one out we later. We will. We will. And maybe we'll give, we'll give <laughs> you a <laughs> bonus a point later flag. on. Uh, all right. <laughs> Question number four. Johnny Appleseed is best known for planting what kind of trees? Um, 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 I should know this one. Oh. Oak trees? Um, Oak trees. Oh. Nah, did she say carrot. Oak? It was mostly carrot trees that he planted. Carrot? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, darn it. Triangle trees. Dang it. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? Are you familiar with Mary? Have you ever Mary. met her? <laughs> Mary. Mary, don't you know me, Mary? Mary, it's me, it's George, George Bailey, you you say. (laughs) You familiar with that movie, Mary? Uh, No, I'm not. Oh, you're not? I go to sleep during the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Siskel in the movies? Yeah, I go to that too all the time. So She said she falls asleep during it. She falls asleep during it. Yeah, right. Siskel and Ebert. I thought she said, I go to Siskel in the movies. No. But no, that's not what you said. No. So that's what I get for thinking. I don't want to be All right. A stickler, well, but... Mary, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for playing our game. Appreciate it. Well, thank you for having yeah, me. Absolutely. All right. You You're bet. Bye bye. Bye bye. So to be clear, you she don't nice. know him, right, <laughs> she was Mary? Nice. She was very she was nice. nice. She was really nice. Very very nice. Great personality. Really yes. Right. Yes. Yes. I'm sh- sweet spirit. Right. All of those things. And that one we point. know and love. She one got point. a point though. Yeah, she got yes, a point. She, she got the outhouse yeah. thing. So there you go. So we're not going to give her the six point nine. No, I am not. Size no, she to said a triangle. Seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Seven, six point nine. I mean, it's right there <laughs> for a <laughs> triangle on the triangle. Come on, I'm hurting inside. There's, I mean, it's just a little hint on the name no, no. of. Of the shape. It's not a trick you know? question. No. It's a triangle. <laughs> Try. Yeah, but the isosceles throws yeah. them off. Well, what really? That throws them off. And, and I'll tell you what. I mean, it's it's a graduate course before you learn that it was an <laughs> apple tree that Johnny Appleseed planted. <laughs> Why are you Love you, Mary. Mary? She was Love nice. you, Mary. She was really nice. Yeah, she was. She was. Great she was personality, great. like we said. Seven, Just though. sweet spirit. Like what we... Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's a Mormon thing. That's a, that's a Mormon culture thing. Oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, now we're doing sweet, Dallas, right? Sweet, that's sweet correct. spirit. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, we're doing Dallas now. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, what were we going to do in the meantime? And, uh, uh, we sure. just we, we to, oh, you oh, want right to here. revisit the cereal, too. Oh, you want to revisit the cereal? Oh, yeah, the cereal. Look at this cereal. Oh, thing. gosh, yes. But Because but. It, it's so cool that it's all... Because we're together, right? What's Thank wrong with you. that? With, yeah, it's with Kellogg's and Glad... Oh, together, present we, our, one of our employees with spent pride hard work and cash money on this. That's right. Yeah, Corby, you're yeah. You're thank a you, hero Corby, for uh... yeah, write that off. He found this <laughs> in an actual grocery store yeah. at a Walmart, mm-hmm. and he reports that it tastes very fruity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because look at the different fruit flavors yeah, that are in it: yeah. orange, you got yep. red, and you got mm-hmm. the blue and green and stuff. <laughs> but I mean, you have all of these cartoon characters. I love it. Right? Right. For kids. So this is obviously Those are all the directed sponsors, towards right? kids. The cereal sponsors. Yeah, and you gotta make the them. Mascots, I mean. What's it got on the side there of the box there, Pat? Uh it has oh <laughs> too amazing to put into a box. Uh-huh. He, him, she, her, they, them. Add your own. Add your own pronoun. My pronouns are, and then you can oh, put your. Oh, I bet Cody's got nice. a lot of words to put into that box. Not nearly enough room, though. For your preferred pronouns can go right here. That's great. That's good. So, what? Which which words would Cody pick? You didn't have, I don't know. Let's space. see, Cody. Yeah. In. How much I'm space? Cody pronouns e m er ers or z z m zers or really any neo pronouns like z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z no. Zimzer. I'd put transmasculine. Zim trans. Okay. Which, which Cody put on there. And then it says support LGBTQ and pride. Mm-hmm. Buy a box of Together with Pride cereal and help accelerate acceptance for the LGBTQQIA. You got to accelerate it because community. there's not nearly enough acceptance as it is. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that? Not everyone is gay yet. Okay. And until that happens. What are we up to, though? 98% or so? I think it's about 99 almost now. So when... Yeah, 99% of us are gay. So when when did we achieve herd gayness? (laughs) Donna in Dallas. We'll have to get to that after Donna in Dallas. Okay. Hey, Donna. Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing okay? Fine. How are you? Oh, good. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Uh, Listen, we want to ask you four quick questions, if that's okay. Sure. This doesn't count as one, but I'm just wondering what part of the Dallas-Fort Worth area are you in right now? Garland. Garland. Yeah, all right. We'll cool. Us too. Uh, so listen, uh, we're going to ask you these questions, and you can't ask for help from anybody around you. And if you don't know the answer, just take a, take a guess, okay? Okay. Okay. Question, question number one. What is an outhouse? <laughs> it's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of outside. Uh, Basically, it is. I know she didn't say that. Yeah, she said. Uh, Question number two: Vladimir Putin is president of what country? Russia. Russia. Exactly right. Nice job. You don't have to get mad about it. We're just asking a question. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I love their people. He actually Uh, started as the president of Canada and then worked his way up. (laughs) He went from Canada. To Iceland, it, 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 and then he he got the. It's Russian. like the you farm system, right? You don't get those days back. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah. Uh, question number three: How many sides make an isosceles triangle? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Um, okay, three. three? There you go. You do know. You do. Okay. Don't let anybody tell you different. You do know. <laughs> Thank you. It okay. is three. Don't question your ability. All right, you got it. go with your instinct. Nice okay. job. Okay, Johnny Appleseed. Is best known for planting what kind of trees? <laughs> Apples, maybe. No. Yes. Oh, she's yes, laughing she at us. It out. She's laughing at us. Yes. Good job. Uh, nicely done. He also planted some Johnny trees, but not as okay. many as, nobody, as he planted yeah, apple nobody trees. Talks about nobody talks People about the Johnny that. trees at all. So, oh, well, listen, you okay. were so good. We're going to send you the home version of our game psychically, and I just did. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Donna. Thank you. Wow. All right, bye-bye now. Bye now. Cowboys off the mat. That's wow. right. Coming back strong in the second quarter. Four to four, four at the half. Four to half. Wow. Tied it on up. Okay. There you um, go. Um, we knew that forfeit was going to come in huge yeah. in the first quarter for Dallas. It's playing. And it it's like missing out. an extra point. <laughs> it is. Mm-hmm. Comes back to haunt you. So it's uh, Minnesota now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, 
I don't, yeah, okay, I see what you got there. I was going to say, that right there isn't a video. That's just a weird thing that I have not seen this in a store. Have you guys seen, like, a fake shelf to cover up the empty shelves? No. Like, this person, uh, I don't know where this is. Like but, this? Yeah. No, I've not seen that. Because isn't, yeah, that's. Where would you even get something like that? Right. It fits exactly on your store shelf. I mean, you had to have that special made, right? But, I mean, that is. That's a good idea. Third world fun. Fake. Uh-huh. Like is that fake as well? Fake asparagus, fake cans of soup. That's really weird. To hide up. Oh, I see like a, a British pound or something there. That must be Britain. See that? Oh, yeah. The yeah. other one, I think, was the U.S., and I think that one is yeah. Britain, but uh, mm-hmm. yikes. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that's coming to a store near you. Is just lower your expectations. Yep. Don't expect those shelves to be really full, Yeah. like the, the pictures. Whatever. The, the tragedy of the treadmill. Well, yeah, and they shouldn't be full because some countries don't have full shelves like we do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need to feel their but, pain. But, That's okay. thinking. Mm-hmm. but yeah, inflation's a good thing. Don't mm-hmm. forget. Yeah, That's, it is. As Geraldo told us yesterday. Inflation is partly a good oh, thing. Oh, partly. I didn't want to know. That's what he said. I'm sorry partly. that I misquoted him. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah, go put a towel on, Geraldo. <laughs> he looks good in that picture. Why is that... Yeah, it's 71 or something. Yeah. Never you ask him out then. Okay. Why? I don't think he looked that good. <laughs> I've, I've met him before. I, yeah. I could hang out with him again. That's okay. okay. Hang out with him. I met him too. Glenn and I actually met him on his boat. When Seems he like he'd be it. a nice guy, right? He was, he was a nice really guy. Nice. Yeah. He, used to come in, actually, he used to come into Tampa Bay. Really nice. All the time. His and that pisses me off because I can't so stand I him know. on you know any television program uh but uh he was really nice in person that's good to hear he was uh he said this may sound crazy in fact he invited us on board his yacht that he was sailing around uh the baltimore harbor and uh had us you know hang out with him for a while it was kind of cool it was Mm -hmm. nice uh this may sound crazy he said uh, to the other panelists on the five, I don't know why they keep having him on. All he does is fight with Greg Gutfeld because like, that's what they want, and I guess they do want that. Yeah. Mm. But talking about good things, inflation is partly a good thing in the sense that it's forcing employers to pay employees more money. No, it's not. No, it doesn't force them to do that. They don't have to do that. Uh, let's go to Connie now in uh, Minnesota. You hey, make Connie. More you spend more. Connie. Hey Connie. hey, Connie. Connie, are you there? Hello. going to be on the radio. This is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. Connie, it is. How are you? Hey. You know what's really interesting is that you're on the radio, but you're really not because you're telling somebody you're on the radio. Hey, Connie. So that's interesting. Hey, Connie. Connie. Can't be on the radio unless you talk on the freaking phone. Wait. Connie. Change right there. Oh, she's, oh, she's making change. Somebody. She's yeah. going to come well, back. Well, we're working too. Well, should we throw yeah. it to traffic and weather together and then come back to Connie? Uh, hey, Connie. Connie. Yes. Hi. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. What's up, guy? Uh, you are. You are, Connie. You're up. Uh, okay. We've got four quick questions for you, if that's all right. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You can't ask for help, and uh, if you don't know the answer, just take a guess. All right? Okay. Question number one. What does SUV stand for? Ooh. Um, yeah. Suburban utility vehicle. Suburban oh. Oh, no. utility oh, well. vehicle pretty close. is close. Okay. But not exactly right. Okay. Sorry. It's, yeah. No, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's all right. right. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Question okay. number two. The New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ are used to track what? Hmm. Used to track uh, ooh, stocks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're exactly oh. right. They're used to track stocks Good job. Uh-huh. and cattle. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, a lot oh, of people okay. don't know. They, they also track uh, okay. I'm still, still going to give it to her. Though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question number three. Generous. Roughly speaking, where on earth does the equator run? Oh, right through the middle of the right earth. Right through the stinking middle of the earth. Yes, for ex- roughly, and you right. gave exact, but yeah. okay. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, question number four. More wine, most wines are made from what fruit? Grapes. Grapes. Wow. Honey. Exactly right. Strong. Are you a doctorate? No, honey. A doctor? No. Okay. no. Road scholar? Road scholar? No, no? honey. Okay. No, All I just right. like wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you aware that the second most used fruit uh, for wine is bananas? 
No, I did no. not. Yeah, yeah. Would you I ever have come. banana wine? Mm-hmm. No, I have not. So. Uh, yeah, you should give it a try well, I sometime. Think, I think really you have. You just haven't realized yeah. it. Oh, and, and really? And That's make the way sure that is. make sure they're bananas that come from Iowa because those are the best. <laughs> Iowa, Iowa bananas yes. uh, made into uh, wine. Uh, write that Delicious. down. Mm-hmm. Write that down. Delicious. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. No, no, you're not going <laughs> to write. What? All right. Well, well whatever. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to help. Originally from Florida, I don't think yeah. bananas grow in Iowa. Oh my, oh. yes, they do. Right by the cornfields. Uh, there. Have you ever heard two words called climate change? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that might be happening sooner than you think. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. That's right. Well, Connie, thanks a lot. Have a great okay. weekend. All right. You mm-hmm. too, honey. All right. Bye. Bye, bye, sweetie. <laughs> all right. Booby baby ah. pumpkin. Cow. Oh, look at you have a connection. I didn't actually realize that uh, the mm-hmm. equator runs, but it's just me. Wow. Shut up. That's a tough. It's a tough one. That's good. Mm-hmm. Good stuff, Jimmy. Thank you. So the Cowboys need four here to win. Yeah. Three to tie, four to win. I, I can do it. And I really don't want the tie because that would be. No, we're not getting the tie. No, we can't we'll have a tie. We've mm-hmm. got plenty of time. We cannot have a tie. We've got, got nine minutes. To get... People don't want to lose their jobs. They'll call. Niner. They'll get somebody from us. <clears throat> okay, so uh, <laughs> inflation <laughs> is is a good here. thing from, uh, so says uh, uh, Geraldo Rivera. Yeah, you just read his quote. We're good. We covered him. People are making more money. They can demand better pay. Which you're going to have to take that better pay and spend it all at the grocery store because of the inflation that you're praising, Geraldo. Unbelievable. But what you claimed prior to uh, Connie was that companies don't have to pay them employees more. <laughs> right. Is that what you were claiming? Yes, that is what I'm claiming. Yes. Okay. And sometimes they just don't either. Or they pay you a little bit more, but it doesn't keep up with inflation. Huh. That could happen. Is too. inflation the reason that the Apple iCloth costs nineteen dollars? <laughs> I don't know what the iCloth? reason for that is. What is happening with that? It's look. a look at this. It's a white cloth, <laughs> and they want nineteen bucks for what it. What am I using it for? To, to, to wipe off your device. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Nice. It is the number one selling thing on Apple right now. I can't now. take it. I can't take the it. The nineteen dollar cloth. iCloth. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, like, I read is, this is article it, and it was really funny because it said, "I uh, we, no word yet on whether it works on other devices." <laughs> 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 like non-Apple yeah, devices? I you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'll work on that. I don't know that I want to be the one to experiment. <laughs> I'm not losing my Android for this for this show experiment. So great. <laughs> it, leave it to Apple, though, to make their cloth not compatible with other devices. Right. Now, if there's a way, they'll figure it out. <laughs> they would. They would. Like, it'll short out your Samsung. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is going on here? It's an Apple. Like, anyway, oh, is, it really with, funny. is it washable? Are you, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I just know it's nineteen dollars when you could literally go to Walmart and spend two bucks for a cloth. Yeah, that's not abrasive. That's all you need, right? Is a non-abrasive cloth. Oh. oh. What do you what? got? What do you got? There? What do you got? You need the Apple symbol you need on the it, iCloud. or it's just not yeah. the same. <laughs> it's you. just exactly. not the same because it's yeah. not compatible. Yeah, I can't it's two dollars it. for the cloth, seventeen dollars extra if you want the Apple logo on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is going to suck if we don't get somebody from Dallas because then we go back to the 4-4 four, four tie. we got all kinds of time. Right? We've only got seven, six minutes And then minutes if you now. go before that, then we go back to the first quarter, right? And then Minnesota wins. Yes. Uh-oh. So that's what we'll have we to do. We'll have to go Dallas. all the way back to the non-tie first quarter, which was 3 nothing Vikings. Ooh. That's what we'll have to do. Come on. we got to get Dallas. Because there could be no tiebreaker, right? So It could be. No, no, it can't be a tiebreaker. Plus, the, you can still get a tie in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Still call point. for a tie. That is a good point. I hate that. And then they messed up the college tie-breaking system Although they, this year. Did you see uh, that? Yes, I did, but it's still, I mean, it's not as bad as the NFL. No, it's not. It's not as bad as the, the mean, NFL. They, at least college gets you a winner. All the NFL has to do is... Allow both teams to have An the ball, no matter to win. what. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And then winner, go till you win. I don't care if they score a touchdown first. Uh, they got the ball based on a coin flip. So really, the coin flip won this game. Right. That sucks. Well, if, if, I hate if, that. If you'll recall, I mean, the Falcons lost Super Bowl 51 in overtime because the Patriots got the ball first, went down, scored a touchdown, game over. And I do recall that. Oh. Uh, it pisses me off every day. <laughs> yeah. Every day. I wake Are you up, bitter? I wake up uh, thinking about uh, it. Yeah. Every day. Uh, uh, yeah. 
So Joe, thank you for reminding join me. Join the club. Oh, good. No, I'll tell you, we had Edward? plenty of time. We got Edward. Hey, Edward. Edward. Ed. Hey, buddy. Edward. Oh, yes. Hey. Hey, man. Uh, where in the uh, Metroplex are you right now? El Paso. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Us too. Us too. Um, listen, we're going to ask you four quick questions, if that's all right. All right. Okay. Uh, you, you can't ask anybody around you for help, and if you don't know the answer, just take a guess, all right? All right. All right, All right. Here we go. Uh, question number one. What does SUV stand for? SUV. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, uh, I know it's a, the last one's a vehicle. Yeah, yeah it is. A, it's it a, is. Yep. sort of, yeah. <laughs> You're almost yeah. there. Um, um, it stands yeah, for super right. ugly vehicles super <laughs> ugly yeah, yeah. Nailed damn it. it so close that was close we'll give you one yeah, third you of a close. point there question number two the new york stock exchange and the nasdaq are used to track what to track mm. 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 i don't know you guys are stunning me man uh, yeah. i know these are tough Shoot. questions nobody's ever gotten either of these right we were hoping uh, they track bison Wait a minute. Oh, my God. The, bison. the yeah. stock exchange tracks bison? Yes. No, the stock of bison. I see. Right? Okay. Um, number three. Question number three. Roughly speaking, where on earth does the equator run? Where, where, where are these questions coming from, man? Uh, like a Rhodes Scholar gives them to us every week. Like a seventh grade um, textbook. Yeah. So. What? He, <laughs> We got a Rhodes Scholar <laughs> who comes up with this stuff, and then he gives them to us, and we're like, really? Oh my expect God. people no, to man. get well, these? I'm, I'm going to disappoint you guys. I'm having a hard time with these. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Right. One more though. You it got, runs. Yeah. It runs around the. It runs around Iceland. The equator oh. runs right okay. around. It kind of circles Iceland there. Does it like go under it? No, it goes around, oh, around it. it. It goes around. Oh, like around a it. okay, yeah, like a circle around. Iceland. You and I both learned something today, Edward. Yeah. Yes, sir. You All learn right. something every day. Yeah. We just have this last one. Most wine, <laughs> most wines are made from what fruit? <laughs> Whoa, oh, easy great. there, killer. What grape? He said grapes is re- guys. Oh, okay. job. Yes. All right, yeah. Edward. Yeah. Yes, you outsmarted yes, the yeah. Rhodes Scholar, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 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 We're nice excited job. Excited for you, man. All right, man. Are you a Cowboys fan? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, you just baby. helped him out with a you with a, a point. right point, one point there. Nice job. Wow. Right? Nice job. Yeah. I came back. I came back. You came back strong, back my strong. friend. You came back dang you strong. You just rubbed our, our in-house road Scholars face in it is what you, you did. sure did. Oh, my God. All right, man. Thanks a lot for playing. Nice playing with you Appreciate guys. you. Take it easy. All, All right. right. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Peace now. out. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Final so, score, right? Final awesome. score. Vikings 7. Cowboys five. Mm, We're predicting Minnesota wins this football game. We're I mean, we have not fared well in more on trivia this year. Three wins. Oh, man, we're three and four. Three it's and four. Th- we're three and five. Hmm? We're no. three and five because yeah. we lost we're again three. this weekend. Yeah, three this and four. Week. Three and four. I'm pretty sure we're three and five. Three, three and, four. and four. This is week nine, isn't it? Coming up, week eight. eight. Week eight. Week eight. Mm-hmm. All right, we're only three and four. Okay, then I feel better about it. That's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not that bad. <laughs> that's what I said. We, we can still finish. Uh, but you were kind of thirteen and you were four. Kind of, you were kind of thinking that it was going to be probably three and five after this week. <laughs> That um, that might be yeah. it. Yeah, I'm not thinking the Vikings think, are going to beat the Cowboys. I don't think Dallas is huh. going to lose this game. I don't think so either. But you know, we think that sometimes, and then more on trivia straight out. I know. So I know. We'll see. NFL's unpredictable. But how about last week where the Chiefs got crushed? Oh, I don't oh, get ugly. that at all. Uh, wow. Ugly. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again Monday. Have a great weekend, and make sure you get your vaccine at Chuck E. Cheese. Thank like you. I'm going to. I'll see you there to get the vaccine, Chuck E. Cheese. The ball pit. Meet yeah, you at the ball at pit. The ball pit right there. Only on the Blaze Radio Network.